the Comedy Journal Jack, week 52. Do I look good enough for you to start the party to celebrate that this week makes a year in the making of Comedy Journal Jack? That could have been worse. 22.30, Saturday, 13th of January, 2018. I had a conversation with my mother about having lots of peas Tuesday and leftovers in tuna casserole the next night. So my mother and father were gone, taking a couple of my siblings to college, and my sisters made some peas for dinner on Tuesday night. There were so many of them, she intentionally did this, so that the leftover peas would be used in the casserole, the tuna casserole, with peas, that's what I call it, because I don't prefer to eat peas the next night. My mom says, peas go a long way. I said, especially if you roll them on a smooth, flat surface. 12.20 Sunday the 14th, I hopped in Rachel's car, saw her little leopard print purse on the floorboard. And I said, there's a baby leopard in the floorboard. I probably used a different voice, more like, there's a baby leopard in the floorboard. Or I might have said more like uh, I was actually thinking there really was. <gasps> There's a baby leopard in the floorboard! I don't remember which way I said it. But it wasn't a baby leopard. It was Rachel's purse. 1330 that same day, I sent a message to one of my friends who, which, yeah, I was going to tell you the reply. I didn't tell you what the message was yet. I said, lunchtime! The reply... I already ate and cleaned my bathroom. I said, why did you eat in the bathroom? That was a reply. I wasn't going to do it. I did it. 13.45. I found out from a conversation with my father at the dinner table. I don't remember how this came up. But he decided to educate us on my granny's habit of watching Soul Train. If you don't know what it is, you're not missing too much, I guess. I don't really mean that. But anyway, she wasn't into the music, really. She liked to turn it down and just watch the people dance and laugh at them. Uh, oh, 30, 0030, 30, 30 minutes after midnight. Uh, that's Tuesday morning of the 16th of January 2018. I was looking at the menu, which is on the fridge door. My sister makes up a menu for at least, I guess, for day. Anyway, it's looking on, on Thursday, and I see it says hotdogs.com. I look a little closer. It doesn't say hotdogs.com. It says hotdogs, comma, corn. 16.35, later on that Tuesday Jim sends me a text that says so what's up speedy and immediately he sends another one that says if you say the sky or clouds we're no longer friends I said well it's not my speed either wait we are friends just friends not best friends calm down 1100 hours Wednesday the 17th I was in a public restroom using the services available. That sounded kind of weird. So I'm making use of this public restroom and somebody walks in and he's waiting behind me for me to get done. Not, not, not immediately behind me, it's you know, decent distance and I hear like what I think is the automatic air fresheners. But immediately after I hear and then a few seconds later, so this guy's sniffling sounds like after every time the air freshener sprays. I get done, I turn around, I see it's a guy with an oxygen tank. 1710, Friday the 19th, after hearing me talk about an instance where I was in the shower with 24 other people. We were all fully clothed. We had this house. It was like a big, huge shower. So we wanted to see how many people would fit in. And my dad talks about it thinking I'm sound like I'm crazy. Whatever, you know. So, he 
said, I was pretty sane before I was married. I said to him, I've never heard you refer to yourself as sane. He said, that was for your mom's benefit. I haven't told my mom this. And I'm not sure I'm supposed to. I'll find out when she watches this video. And from the lips of the starving comedian, did you hear about the dog that ate a bottle of food coloring? Well, did you? He died a little inside. 